This is an Icon Ministry production with the support of our ministry partners and donors. It is becoming more and more and more and more difficult to be still, to stop. Jesus spoke so often and acted so often on being still. He was busy. He had a lot of things to do. He had so much that the world needed him to do and so much that the Father wanted him to do. And yet he still every day made time for silence. You know, if you are so busy that you cannot make time for stillness and silence, if you are so busy that you don't have time to pray, if you are so busy that you don't have time to go to Mass on a weekend, on a Sunday, then you are doing a whole lot of stuff that God isn't asking of you. And when you do all of this stuff that God doesn't ask of you, you get stressed and worried and anxious. Now I know you're gonna tell me, Father Rob, but I have five children, all under the age of 10. How can you tell me to find silence? Yes, I understand and I appreciate and the world has changed and the demands of the world has changed. But also how important it is for us to do whatever it takes to be still whether it is to find a time of silence, to get the in-laws to help, and maybe you don't have this, or to lock yourself in the pantry in a moment, or to wake up five, 10 minutes before everybody else to be still. Because sleeping is not, is not a substitute of stillness. You know, sometimes we need to still our mind, to concentrate our mind and our hearts. And even when we are still, this is where we go to. We go to our phones and we're scrolling and we're checking. And even though we might think that I'm relaxing, but there are demands on us through our phone, through social media, through the, the, the messages that we get. And the world is demanding things of us, even though we might be sitting down being still, our hearts, our minds, and I'm far from still. Jesus, in the midst of all the need, in the midst of all the chaos, in the midst of all the souls he needed to save, made the time to be still. Cardinal Sarah, uh, Cardinal uh, of the church, says that he wrote this book, The, the Power of Silence. Because very often, God's peace and God's voice is heard not in the loudness of this world. It's not heard in the service of God. It's not heard in the beauty of God's gifts, but it's often missed because we don't hear the voice that is spoken to us in silence. So just stop, stop. Whatever you're doing, just stop and listen. Let your mind be still. Let your heart be still and listen to the voice of God. Listen to God loving you. Lay down your prayers. Don't even pray, just stop and let God speak. Let God love you. This production is only made possible because of the generous support of Icom Ministry partners and donors. Please go to icomministry.com slash donate to make a donation today.